Kromo said what? Make one slice the baby two pieces. Make one take the other side. Idris, you get. Praise the Lord. Idris, I want you to put the best even. My anointed good ones here. I love you so much. Mm. So my tells of you, my sister, this Idris. It's not love. That's what we do in the kingdom of the Lord. We really love one another. Brother Warren. Uh -huh. It has a chop them in two pieces. He knew you know go chop the child. So if you're suspecting that your husband is cheating, in the live in the bedroom, while he's right there doing whatever he's doing, you know the way they do. But make sure that he hearing you, and don't do it like game or intention. But make sure that as the Lord is hearing you, sooner you will be hearing you. Start first with praise. You are father and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. We give you We worship you, Father, Master, you are worthy, worthy to be praised. We give you honor and glory. We worship you, Savior. You are worthy to be praised. When you finish, make sure you are in spirit. Because this is a stubborn demon you are about to break out of your husband or your wife. When you finish, first of all, thank the Lord. Father, I thank you. Bless him. Worship him. Cover your children. Cover your husband. Cover your husband's family well, well. Cover your own family also well, well. Be writing these steps, please, women. Cover them well, well. When you finish to cover, start coming against every evil weapon fashioned against your life. And the thing that I love the most, I bring it to you. Now you go begin. My husband, the two became one. You said the two became one. God of Abraham, if my husband is abusing my body and giving it to any other woman, right now release the fire. It's not fear. Release the fire. If a man is not cheating, he will not be afraid of that fire. He will not be afraid of that fire. Go even deeper. Show that your God is not a joke. If this man does not want to live life the right way, the way you have said it, God, separate me from him. And if he will not allow to let peace reign in this house, Father, I prefer that he come to meet you before he lose his life. <laughs> Which means that I ah, if your husband is not eating, don't worry, don't worry. He's not. Remember what I said about Solomon? Go there. If your husband jump around when he hear this prayer, hey, and he start to shake you, don't stop praying. Say, Father, I bind every evil, stubborn, rebellious, ruthless demon out of my family. I begin to cast it down right now. I begin to call the Holy Ghost to begin to release power, to breed power of heaven. To scatter everything that is coming up against my marriage. And if your husband is still touching you. And you say if this demon is speaking through my husband. is a demon right now speaking through him. Right now I shut it in the name of Jesus. He will not touch you again. I'm telling you the truth. Don't leave the prayer continue. It's not a strategy. They say radical faith. Eh? Why Papa Abraham never cheat? Because the women of the old days. They allow their men to know. And they pray you. Oh, if you find yourself to fall in one titi or toto, you will die. And that's your punishment for the wages of sin is dead. And adultery, fornication, sexual morality, perversion. Now one of the things the Lord hates, you think he will spare your life? That's why we, we take grace for advantage. Begin to continue. Say that demon speaking out of him, call him on fire. Continue to pray. Lord, even the woman, wherever she is right now, 
if she doesn't know, I am asking for mercy and grace from you. Forgive the woman and separate her from my husband right now. And whatever strife has put him, begin to remove him out of there. But if the woman know me as she playing four, five, seven steps and five eye on me, Lord God of Abraham, release your thunder right now. They say punishment, my God, give my husband. Give her in Jesus' name. It's not a bad thing, oh. If you're sleeping with married men and you know, that's the worst thing you can do. It's the same as taking a knife and killing. Because betrayal is killing. Sleeping with somebody's husband or wife. While you know them, you chill with them. In fact, it's, especially if you chill with them, you hang around with them, it's pure witchcraft. And the Bible said, do not allow a sorcerer to outreach. Some of you are practicing witchcraft, but you don't want to die by corruption. Don't worry, they are sending right now photos. We are killing out here, Jezebel and Ravalim. Praise the Lord. So, continue. Say so any woman that is playing dumb on me, I shall not play with my sisters. So my sisters will not play with me. I'm my sister's keeper. I'm not my sister's tormentor or terminator. Begin to pray. My sisters, if you pray that prayer three times, let your husband hear you three times, screaming loud like that. No matter what, no matter what, even the one that doesn't know God, he knows when God has shifted something. Instead of calling women, fighting with them, uh -uh. beat prayer. And when you finish to do the prayer, you say amen. He go call you, he start asking you, why would you pray for me to die, to catch fire, to be punished, this and that? I will not ask, tell him, you know, I love you, you are me, I want. If you die, I die. Because your body is my body. Now me will be lacking out sexual. Because you are going to take my body if you die. If you are not cheating, what's wrong? You are not cheating. Don't worry. The Lord will not touch you. And I cannot manipulate the Lord because the Lord sees everything. You see, where my eyes cannot see, the Lord sees you. And then they do pray, brother. In fact, where my eyes don't see, Lord, where my children, my husband is, where my eyes are not seen, where they are feeding them wrong things that is devouring their soul and spirit. Right now, cadavers of the Holy Ghost fire, begin to put them in Jesus' mighty name. You will not go to that woman again. I'm telling you, in all life, this trick, this strategy, this wisdom has worked for so many women. They have come back. And men who thought that that prayer was a joke and a nyai nyai, they have also come back to me and told me, Sister, you need to be telling people that the things you do for God is not a joke. You need to stop putting comedy in. I said, I don't put comedy in. The things that I do for the Lord, you ask Sharon, ask Bevan. Ask my, my, my favorite. My darlings. It's not like I, they are my favorite more than all of you, but you know these ones, they are my in-laws, you understand, because they marry my brother, so that's why they do the favor and brother. And they are intercessors and prayer warriors for other people too. So don't feel bad. They are all favorite of Jesus Christ. It's your own portion to choose. If not, there's no. Pray like that. They say, why do you don't tell them that is true? I said everything that I do for God here yeah, is not a joke. It's not a game. And it pays really back. So I've also had husbands who have come back and told me, my sister, very terrible accident. God gave them something that will remind them that that stupid thing they did connected to that prayer that that wife fired. They will never do that again. You finish. So before the devil destroy your life, let's be repenting out here. And women, it's waste of time to even talk to that other woman. Before, you know, former savages before the Lord save us. We used to think now, my, my life. You understand, Sister Lydia? Now life. Beat the wife. Me and all one thing were coming from a, a papa who was a, a very big cheater. We beat up a lot of women in Zambia for my papa. We collect a lot of properties, rightfully, because it was our father. Now our mother was ironing the clothes and washing everything for our papa to look fine, for that belly to look like Mr. Ibo. Those girls, women, were looking, trampling on the veil. That's why we we're going to collect the properties, because the Lord gave us wisdom from such a young age. Somebody pray the Lord. So, the truth is right there in your eyes. Instead of going to beat those women, you waste time. Pray. Pray. And let your husband hear you pray. And brothers, when you hear her pray, don't ever take her prayer as a friendly request to scare you, to shake you, to mumu you, to mongo you, and now you want to feel like you're a Jew. Uh -uh. Her prayer is from her mouth, her lips to the Lord. Don't play with that. And you are one with her. 
And that's why when I tell women, don't go and fight the side chick. Send your husband to Holy Penitentiary Center. Do you know where Holy Penitentiary Center is? Holy Penitentiary Center is the place where the Lord formed marriage union. He said the two became one. That's why you don't need to speak to a papa or mama about your marriage. You go direct to the Lord. Report your husband. The best person to report your husband to, if he's a bad man or your wife, she's a bad woman, is to the Lord. Because the Lord is fair and he will deal with him accordingly. Don't send him to Babalao, they go kill him for you. The Lord will teach your husband that he become better husband. If your husband were walking like G unit boy, you were doing sagi sagi. Believe me, by the time the God of Abraham they touch him one time in holy penitentiary said, Ask Sister Beverly and Sister Cheryl. We know this in the way. Oh, if you did they come out straight? And let me tell you, holy penitentiary way, it works for black man, Chinese man, a Asian man, black man, white man, Indian man, any kind of man, send down. Send down. I thought the Lord, why you bring the man to the Holy Penitentiary Center? You don't want to go and speak with other people out of your marriage, and you don't want to devour your marriage, and you don't want to speak to other people who wish him bad and who are going to take the relationship literally, sort and pepe to ruin your marriage. Mm -mm. You want to speak to him who is fair, and because you love this man. And the Lord loves a woman who loves her husband, because Jesus is love. And that's why men who don't love their wives, the Lord will be dealing with their sister. You will just make him jobless for three months, four months, but see your husband. <laughs> you go realize, oh, oh. So take it to the Lord. That's the advice I can give. Let's do one last song before we close because you hear the weather is changing. Even me, I have to go and go back in the house, my sisters. I had a corona, you know. The test is still showing positive, but I don't care. Anymore. Oh, 